or good afternoon, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Dr. John Belkowitz here. Uh, we uh, finished up uh, our new business cards, and this is uh, this is probably the best batch we've ever made. It wasn't starting out very well, was it? Uh, and I think the biggest change was the accelerator. You know, going to that other accelerator. Uh, but anyway, we um, yeah we had a little bit of a, a hiccup in there. Um, and almost lost the mix, but was able to regain it and just made these beautiful cards. And, um, you know, the, the fact that I, I, the reason I bring that up is there's a special chemical that we put in here uh, that I've talked about once in a blue moon. You know, once in a while I talk about it. It's, a, it's one of my favorite chemicals used in the concrete industry. And Brian H. Green of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers once called it an ultrafine amorphous colloidal silica. Uh, basically a universal dispersion of nano-sized silica particles. And um, we use that in this small portion. You don't need a lot of the stuff. And it just holds the mix together, makes it creamy and dreamy, easy to play with. And then when it sets up and goes through its hydration process, it just it has just such a a strength to it, a beautiful sound, a feel to it. You don't even need to put a sealer on it. It's just such a, I don't know if you can see the light, but anyway, and it glows. So that's not what this uh, video is about today. What was the question, Haley? My fr favorite, first favorite? Yeah. Which one was it, first or favorite? Both. First, favorite. <laughs> first favorite. <laughs> Um, so my first use of nanosilica sized particles in concrete were uh, was um, ASR mixes, ASTMC uh, 1567 and the, or 1260 and then 1567 uh, using New Mexico materials. Uh, our aggregate was we had gone into an especially I was working for Lafarge. We'd gone into a very hot vein of um, uh, reactive aggregate in uh, Albuquerque in the areas around uh, Albuquerque and uh, we were using somewhere around 35 percent class F fly ash and it was just uh, the mixes weren't setting up that quick I mean you can imagine that much ash what it would do to the heat of hydration of your total composite um, and I was working with just sand uh, you know, 1216 and 1567s are mortarboard and I didn't get a big budget so I couldn't do the whole gradation and have time for that so I used just sand uh, but then I looked at cement with colloidal so or cement alone and fly ash alone then I used looked at different combinations of a three to five nanometer particle and it was just absolutely amazing in the lab I mean I was getting some great results with and without fly ash uh, bringing the fly ash down to, you know, 15 or 20 percent, and getting the, you know, maintaining results, uh, and then we uh, went to the field, and instantly, you know, the mix went from, uh, uh, gosh, I can't remember if it was a five to a seven or a four to a six, but it was somewhere around there, inch slump, and putting that amount of nano silica in there, or that, excuse me, that colloidal silica, it just tightened that batch up real quick and impossible to handle. And, at the time, we didn't understand the difference between uh, or, or the impact of the low alkali cements, the mid-range waters we were using, uh, and the dosage of such a small particle and what it did at such a lower mixing energy. And I can't remember what we use in our mixer. I think it's in the 200 RPMs, and in the back of a ready mix truck, it's maximum eight, 18 RPM, 20 RPM, if that. So um, it's, I, I don't think that's even a full truck. So um, it, it, it fell short very quickly. So that was my first time uh, that I, I actually used it, you know, and did the technical transfer on a project and um, ended up getting past it and did a major project in uh, uh, Gypsum, Colorado at the Eagle County Airport. It was published in Concrete International. My favorite time was, um, like, it like it stood out to me how awesome this material was. You know, I didn't believe the data at first. It was during my PhD, and we were doing bulk electrical resistivity, um, which measures basically the pore connectivity, pore filled solution, and an electrical current through concrete. And the denser your concrete, 
the less electrical per current will pass, the more resistivity, which means the less permeable you know, a given concrete. Um, and using the colloidal silica, you know, we saw some increases in our resistivity, which normally means that you know, your concrete is going to be more durable. But when we started using high dosages of a 45 to 47 nanometer, and our resistivity increased by 700 percent. Like I, we didn't believe it, we didn't believe it, and I, I blamed it on poor sample fabrication or poor mixing, or. And then we ran the mixes again, and it happened again. And then we ended up running like 30 or 40 samples, uh, 30 or 40, maybe it was 92 samples. It was a ridiculous amount, and the technician we had working for us did a horrible job, so we had to throw all the mixes out and redo them. Um, but we ended up doing a monster load of, of samples, and just so it had a standard deviation, less than 3%, or a coefficient of variation, less than 3%, whatever it was, it just fit into line beautifully. Um, and just right away, it was, once we got that, like, okay, it wasn't operator error, it wasn't you know, something with us uh, putting the dosages in wrong, uh, uh, you know, to begin with, and we had that repeatability, um, what this technology can do, not only in the lab, but also in the field, to meet the demand of construction, by using it as an admixture, um, but really meeting the demand of these physical and chemical attack mechanisms that are really just breaking down our concrete, shortening up our service life, and making us pay more for every you know, square mile that we have in our, you know, civil infrastructure system. So, um, yeah, those are my two times, Haley. Love it. Thanks for joining us today. Hopefully you learned something. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding that bell for notifications. Go concrete! Beat us!